down. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's thank okay. you guys for being patient. You guys patient. don't need to hear me anyway. I know, this is a visual oh. media. Yeah, you really don't need to hear me. <laughs> it's totally fine. Just just watch with cool. your eyes, you know? All good. <laughs> Yay, thank you guys for sticking around. That's really amazing. The internet is not a patient <laughs> Chris. place. Stupid. <laughs> is that someone you know? Yes. <laughs> Are you hey a teacher? Him. Uh, I used to teach. Oh, okay. I, I was teaching, and I haven't been... I taught for, like, almost two years. Mm. It was awesome, but I think I need a break from teaching. But yeah. I still like having people I can mentor. Yeah. I think that's really important to give back in that way. Mm-hmm. So. Right, and I also think that's important for young artists, or artists in general, yeah. to seek out a mentor. Like, exactly. not to be shy about that. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Daniel, wait, you're the host from last time. That's nuts. It's me again. Yes, I'm Kathleen, if you guys don't know. Hello, hosting Shauna X, and we're going to jump into this. But before we jump into it, I'm going to remind you guys to watch us on be.net slash live. And that's where you can chat with us and also check out the contest. So you're going to be making an illustration during this stream. You have two hours about uh, revolving. Pressure. I know. It's like a quick little design challenge uh, revolving around the idea of traveling to Utopia, this kind of fictional planet that is going to be coming to be. Uh, so you have to use Illustrator. And you're going to submit it via the contest tab. There's a form in there. And then we'll take a peek at the end of the stream. And Shauna will pick a winner. And the winner will win one year of Creative Cloud for free. That's amazing. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. I wish I could enter so I could win that. I want that too, guys. <laughs> hint, yeah. hint. Nudge, nudge. Hint, Adobe. Hint. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, are you here? Hello. <laughs> uh, which one is Shauna? This lovely lady right here. Oh, yeah. There she is, the one that's going to be clicking a lot. Yeah, I'm k- clicking. So you can click with a trackpad, but you can't click with a mouse. I mean, I can, but like I, you I physically just, cannot. I just like to drag, you know. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Rob's um, gonna win. You might win, Rob. If you guys don't know Rob, Robzilla, check out his uh, Behance page. You can do that by clicking on his little face or on his name, and you can do that for anyone else in the chat. You just click on their uh, <laughs> icon, and you can go to their Behance. What are you laughing at? I don't know. <laughs> Yourself on the this, screen? This chatting is so interesting. I haven't done this for a year, so it's like oh. every time I come back, I'm like, whoa, there's people like looking at me, it's, mm-hmm. but I'm staring into a camera. There's like... I know. Like, just a couple hundred just blows my mind. closest <laughs> friends watching you. <laughs> uh, and if you guys don't have Illustrator, you can try out a free trial of it um, if you haven't already. But uh, I guess we can go ahead and get started, and we'll chat about the contest in a bit. Cool. All right, so think about like utopia. I'm like trying to think mm. what that is. Yeah, what I is need that some to you? ideas here. Okay, mm. so what is that like? What is gravity? There's gravity. What else is, is there? Is there in utopia? I mean, what's your utopia? I guess you're like floating in space. Mm-hmm. Um, how about like what are some objects? Yeah. Like, hmm. Come on, chat. Let us know. Are there mountains that's upside down? Oh. oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah. And if you don't know maybe the idea around Utopia, it's kind of like the very perfect place. Uh, it doesn't exist, I don't think. Maybe it does. Maybe it's Joshua Tree where you're going. Joshua Tree. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> but it's like a perfect gonna... society, perfect planet. So I'm like limited to these colors only. Yes. And you I guys can't do too. anything else, really? I this mean, is so hard. You could. <laughs> Break some design <laughs> rules. You could work within the box. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I'm Kendra gonna... says candy mountains. Candy mountains. Okay. That's kind of cute. Floating legs, birds, rain that falls from the ground, fish flying. Fish flying. Maybe we should do like one focus today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We only have two mm. hours. Little yeah. Less. That's true. <laughs> Last year I did. I was like nuts, so I did a bunch of stuff. Yeah, one every at day, once. Right? So I think oh. I'm gonna calm down this time and be like, <laughs> it's fine, life is okay. Life is okay on Utopia. I'm gonna add a new swatch. Laura, I agree. Nothing is perfect, and that's a good thing. There you go. Okay, <laughs> Utopia. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> and the you guys... screen is really small. Oh. Oh, you know why? Why it's is cause that? Because I think it's because I'm like plugged into this thing. Oh. Gotcha. For some reason, when I think of Utopia, I get kind of a weird heebie-jeebie feeling. Like Would maybe like it's not such a good, good yeah, thing. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. I feel like Utopia is always the name of like the evil castle. What's up, Michael Shiz? 
Hello. Say hello to Michael. Hello. <laughs> Better. Underwater yes. theme. Very awesome. Cool. Thank you. Adobe has come to save the day. Thank you, Adobe. I'm going to, uh, okay, so. Okay, what do you think? I'm trying to think what this planet looks like. So you got mountains. Mm -hmm. And then you have like an atmospheric. Is this, am I, am I doing this on the planet? Or maybe it's like a scenery from the planet? Yeah. Huh. Or maybe it's like someone floating. Okay, I'll just start. Yeah. <laughs> it could be literally anything. We were talking about this earlier, how specifically on a digital in a digital format, you can do yeah. anything. Like almost too many options. It was like kind of intense because mm -mm. You, you your mind can just take you wherever you want to go. Yeah. Versus you know when I'm like painting or something that's like more hands on, you're mm -hmm. like, oh, I have to think about this for a second. Yes. So I'm trying to reapply that traditional aspect into digital work and taking it slow. Ooh, yeah. I respect that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, how about you guys in chat? What is your approach to making these illustrations? Are you just kind of fast iteration, using Illustrator to your advantage, how quick it can move? Or maybe taking it more slow, maybe sketching on paper first, uh, doing a couple thumbnails. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the hovering art director is not in Utopia. He's not in my Utopia, at least. I don't know about you. I'm not a fan. I think he's turned off, which is probably a good thing. It feels too designed. Mm. Whoa, what? Better stop. <laughs> this is the hovering art director. That's real? Oh my god, of course he's like a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's very judgmental. Where is this from? Of course he has tattoos. Mm -hmm. Of course he's of, British. Of diamonds awesome. and stuff. <laughs> looks like a short list. He's probably going to throw this compostable coffee sleeve in the trash when he should really throw it somewhere else. Try some more versions. Oh, try some more versions. Thank you. Try some more versions. Oh, <laughs> thank you. So helpful. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay. I'm trying to think. Maybe we could do something that's like a land, atmospheric landscape situation. Mm. Or are we doing something that's like kind of cute? I haven't decided. Both. But I feel like an atmospheric landscape, like that's a nice setup for Utopia. Definitely. Okay. <clears throat> William is uh, curious about your palette arrangement. How do you like to set up your colors in a document? Because that is really interesting. They're kind of yeah. checkered on top of each other. Honestly, um, if I don't have a limit to my colors, it's, it's playing until I feel like it's right mm -hmm. in a way. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I like to use a bold color with something that's not as bold and try to contrast it out. Mm -hmm. That's usually my tip that I guess I've been doing a lot of. Um, and honestly, like right now, what you see is seriously not what it's going to end up looking like whatsoever. Uh, like it never always, it never looks no. like what it. It's always a mystery. Yeah, <laughs> it's always a mystery. Right. Uh, I'm trying to think. Okay. I like can't. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> it's okay. Think through it. It's all right, we got maybe, chat here to help. Yeah. Maybe I can do a person or, or an alien. Ooh. Yeah, or, what would an alien look like on Utopia? Hmm. Perfect. Whatever that means. Yeah, in chat, who has a hovering art director? Anybody? Rob, do you have one? I don't, I don't think I would want one. Make it less stocky. Mm. Of course, he has like a British accent too. Yeah. Who think... made this? It's amazing. <laughs> so it's from an Adobe commercial, like an advertisement. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, talking about how Adobe stock, using stock images, can help you defeat even the toughest hovering art director. That's hilarious. <laughs> like he's like, put a beard on him, but not like a dwarf beard, like a cool beard. The guy's like, what does a that cool even beard. mean? And they want their job shadows back. Oh my gosh. True. I will. I will agree with That's him on that so one. That's so funny. <laughs> Lee says their inner voice is narrated by RuPaul. That's oh amazing. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. <laughs> Let's throw in some. <laughs> Rob, you have one, but send another? Whoa. Slow your roll. <laughs> Utopia. 
Oh, it looks kind of like a bird. Oh, wow. I didn't even think about that. Oh. I was just making shapes. <laughs> there you go. Okay, maybe it could be like a weird bird on Utopia. Yeah. Or I was thinking. Like a bird of paradise. Is it a bird? That's what I thought, H2B2. Um, I don't know yet, guys. <laughs> That's okay. I like this playtime. <laughs> it's like early morning playtime. It's really early for me. I haven't, woke, I haven't woken up at before probably 11 a.m. for like the last <laughs> month. TBH. Oh my gosh, TBH. So no judgment I'm getting here. really <laughs> real here. Yeah, but that's good because you just traveled from New York. So that's it's like true. Even earlier. So now here. it's like, okay, now it's like 12 o'clock my time. Oh, yeah. it says so on my clock right here. There you go. Boom. Yeah, what time is it where you guys are in chat? It is 9 18 in the wow, morning. Wow, you guys are really good at waking up early, which <laughs> I definitely don't do. Oh, man. I think we woke up at like. 5 30 this morning to get here. Oh my here. gosh. Really? Mm -hmm. Why? At Silicon Valley commute. Holy moly. 5 30? <laughs> what time do you go to bed? Like 7 p.m.? 10 30? <laughs> Just kidding. Ish. <laughs> Probably later than I should. <laughs> Hello from Dubai. Hello. Hi. Hello from the UK. Awesome. Been awake since 4 a.m. Oh my goodness. You guys need to go to bed. <laughs> go to bed now. Go to sleep. <laughs> Shauna's your mom, and she says... Yes, that's my mom. She, every time she calls me, she's like, what time did you go to bed last night? <laughs> every single time. I'm like, mom, that's so fine. Funny. Don't worry about it. Uh, Natasha has to be at work at 8. Good morning, Natasha. Hope you have a great day at work. You're at work at 6 a.m.? Yeah. This looks like a short list. All right, well, <laughs> to be gold. This is why I turn him off during the stream. No, we'll just look at you, all right? That's all you're good for. Argentina, oh my goodness. You woke up at five, Laura. Holla, 5 a.m. You guys club. are crazy. <laughs> Why do you guys wake up so early? Yeah, tell us. I wanna know. Has like, always... What's the point? Yeah, <laughs> right. Whenever I'm just I, kidding. I feel the same way though, but it's whenever like, I wake up early, it feels, I feel good later. That's true. Like you're I'm, never disappointed that you woke up early, I feel. I always, I, I feel like for me though, I make the best work when I, I'm like basically dying. Really? I'm very tired. So I think you that's do this why to I yourself. Like yeah. <laughs> oh man, because the grind never stops. So true, Daniel. So true. Yeah, Ryan but says, why? get up early to get more work done. Work until you're done. But like the work <laughs> culture, I feel like needs to be debated a little bit. Oh right? yeah, let's push back. Yeah, let's come on. I know <laughs> everyone says, oh my God, I love being busy. But like, really though? Do you really love being busy? What does that mean? Right, exactly. It's like to keep your mind busy so you don't think about other things. Is that it? Oh, Anna, you have the posters from Max. Speaking of the posters that just flashed up on the screen. So about, let's see, in about 40 minutes. Oh. Yes, we're going to be doing a giveaway of these amazing posters above us. Rob, actually, in chat, did the one on the left. Very cool. Jing Wei nice, did the one Rob. in the middle of a pool party. Nice, then, Jing. Yeah, and then Christine Heron, who's going to be streaming with us at um, 3. Uh, Pacific time did the one on the right. So if you guys stick around and you're active in chat, that's all you need to do to win all these posters in about 40 minutes. Uh, we'll let you know when the giveaway is starting and we can get the hype going in chat. Ricky woke up early because they don't live in Utopia. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you lived in a perfect place, you wouldn't mind waking up so early. Maybe I'm not, not actually sure what I'm even drawing yet, so I need to like think about this. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what is Utopia even mean, though? It's like, okay, it's a planet. It's like in a different place. People can buy a house. Um, Atlantic Ocean, okay. Oh. I was thinking maybe like little like tubes where you can eat food from. That's what this is. Tubes to eat food from? Or maybe, okay, what maybe mean? what this is is like a tube where people, I don't know, maybe it's like just the sky. Yeah. Maybe the sky looks like this. Those are some crazy clouds. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Wowza. <laughs> Caesar woke up at six because your one and a half year old daughter said it was time to wake up. What a, she's just like a slave master. Wake up, because I said so. Daniel's had four coffees already. Oh my goodness. Please drink some water. Is everybody drinking enough water out there? It's important. Do you have enough water? Yes, I love water so much. It's my favorite thing. It's the essence of life. <laughs> Everybody in chat is so hyped about the socks. So I think it was last week. 
They were giving away mountains of socks. I actually, I was wearing mine yesterday. Socks? Yeah. What kind of socks are they? So they're Adobe XD socks. Ooh. Yeah. Very cool. What does that look like? It's like the little Adobe XD oh, cool. square just kind of patterned all over it. A little That's bit of awesome. Adobe swag. Ryan has a question for you. Are you ready? Yeah. Do you always work right off the computer or do you ever start with paper? Honestly, I've always worked right off the computer, but now I'm going to start going off the paper. <laughs> <laughs> Too much pressure. I think it's, I think for me, it's like, I think Illustrator is such a playing tool and I think it's really important for the first stages of working on anything to play, just to put all your ideas out there regardless if it's, you know, good or not. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why I like going directly to the computer first. Yeah. Even though it seems like it's more finalized. Um, I think paper is actually a little bit more challenging for me to play with because I get really, I get really upset if I don't make something uh, nice on paper. Yeah, and it's like with this, you can just click an X and it's gone. With that, yeah. it's like you have to actually crumple it up, throw exactly. it away, admit defeat. Here, I'm just like basically making shapes that are just you know fun and yeah. pleasing. Right. So definitely, yeah, I usually do computer first. Mm. And if you guys want to also make some shapes that are fun and pleasing, we are running contests during this entire week. So we're going to be streaming today, tomorrow, and Thursday, all day, every day, <laughs> 9 to 5, uh, with four different designers. And every stream, there's going to be a different theme. And the theme revolves around this idea of utopia, this new planet that's going to be uh, unveiled to the public. So today's theme is travel to utopia. We have to get there first before we kind of habitate it. Um, so during Shauna's stream specifically, you have two hours, you're going to make an illustration using Illustrator around the theme of travel to Utopia. So how are you going to get there? What do you need to get there? Those kind of things. Uh, and you're going to submit it on the contest tab at be.net slash live. And we'll take a peek at them when they start coming in. And at the end of the two hours, someone's going to win. What time is it in Europe right now where they are creating this? Ooh. Mm -hmm. 6 yeah. p.m. 6 p.m.? So okay. Our resident okay, European that's a good time. says 6 p.m. That's a really good time. Yeah. So you have until uh, your evening tea to get this done. And then you come back and enter again at the next stream. <laughs> Somebody said I look like Maisie Williams in chat. I've gotten nice. that before. I get that's many, a compliment. Yeah. No, she's. I love her. I get a lot of doppelganger comments. Do you ever get told that you look like anybody? No. And I'll be like, really? Do you really think that? <laughs> <laughs> come on. <laughs> reindeer? Are there reindeer in Utopia? Anita wants to know. Oh, interesting. That's a really interesting question. Is Utopia just the North Pole? What's going on? I don't really know. I'm, I think I'm just gonna make weird shapes until I'm happy with them. There you go. That's my goal. <laughs> hey, that's cool. Madison says she turned away for one second <clears throat> and you already have a person created. It's a little, little. I'm trying to draw his little butt. Oh, queen of butts. I thought butts were so 2016. I mean, everyone has butts, you know? <laughs> Did you guys know? Everybody has butts. I mean, butts. I have 2016. a butt. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Hello from India. What's up, Binu? Strawberries should grow with chocolate on them, Ryan says. Oh, my goodness. What's this? Stra Wait, strawberries? Yeah, in their utopia, strawberries grow with chocolate on them. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll draw strawberries next. <laughs> Hi from France. What's up, Delphine? Welcome. Mm -hmm. I want to see what I'm doing. There you go. Boom. So that's command Y, correct? The shortcuts? Yes. I never use shortcuts, which is probably <gasps> something I should get into. Oh my gosh, you're such a strange creature. I know, I'm so <laughs> weird. It's a good thing. What's going on? The last stream I did with uh, Jenny Yu and Sophie Diao, they were like fingers flying oh on gosh. the keyboards. They weren't even clicking anything. It was just that's all crazy. shortcuts. Yes. Wait, what are both of their names? So I'm Kathleen Illustrated, and this is... I'm Shauna X. Yes. Shauna 10th. Shauna the 10th. <laughs> yeah, so you can check out her work. It's shauna-x.com. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Find her on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Find me on the internet, guys. She can be your internet friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. How come you work without shortcuts? I don't know. I just never got into it. 
I should though, honestly. Yeah, but it makes things so much easier. Definitely faster. Yeah, but Mm -hmm. why do I need to be faster? I think my whole goal this year is to slow everything down. Because last year I was like going nuts, being really fast about everything I did. Mm -hmm. And I realized it really wore me out. And I think, I mean, I'm not saying shortcuts do that, but it maybe just makes that process a lot easier to get into. So I think I'm going to just be really slow about things this time around, which Mm. is not me, but, you know. No, that's good. I love how you say this time around. Like, literally this time around the sun. Yeah. going to go a little slower. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. Aw. So... That's cool. No, I agree. My natural speed when making art is like my heart's pounding and I have to go as fast as I can. Yeah. I don't know why. It's been like that since I was little. Well, especially now I'm like doing this live. It's like, oh my gosh, all these people are going to see me Fail. screwing up. <laughs> but that's okay. That's part of the process. Yeah. I think it's important to have the process. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. How else do you learn? Like you can see me make terrible shapes and be like, that is ugly. And I'll be like, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I am aware. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Uh, So Shoto says, I guess in Utopia you can survive without shortcuts because clients from hell don't exist in Utopia. That's very true. (laughs) Yeah, no hovering art directors in Utopia. Turn around, sir. Don't look at them. (laughs) Do we have a logo for Utopia? Do you want to make it? Oh my gosh. I don't even know what that is. We'll figure it out, I guess. Um, how can I turn my canvas to lines like she did? What is the shortcut? It's Command Y on a Mac. I guess Control Y on a PC, and that turns it into outline mode. You can also do it. I think it's um, maybe in the View um, drop down or possibly the window. But if you go to the Help bar at the top of Illustrator and type in Outline, you should be able to just click on it. Can we make a logo as well? to say you could make whatever you want so specifically for this stream we want you to make an illustration uh, based around the theme of traveling to utopia using illustrator Um, and then in the next couple streams there will be kind of different parameters and different kind of things and you can find all that information in the contest tab so the next stream will be mats for example and you're going to create an interactive prototype made with adobe xd Um, so that's more for those user experience designers out there. And actually, this is a good chance for me to kind of chat about the other guests that are going to be here, because Shauna, as much as it would be great, is not going to be streaming 9 to (sighs) 5. Sorry, guys. (laughs) That would be the life, wouldn't it? (laughs) So we have Matt D. Smith next, amazing user experience designer, um, kind of showing us how to work through prototyping for Utopia. And then after that will be Evan Abrams, and he's going to be doing uh, kind of motion graphics and animation. And I think Jason Levine will be here with him for that. And then finally, we have Christine Heron, one of Adobe's previous creative residents. And she's going to be doing a um, stream about graphic design. And the contest will be more about creating a graphic design, like a a travel ticket to Utopia. Okay. You know what? I'm going to have him have a square helmet. So strange. I love how you're like, hee hee, I'm breaking the rules. Hee hee. <laughs> so good. So weird. Yeah. Just kidding. Saidu, so um. welcome. Yeah, are you guys watching on Behance? They say hello to Behance. So if you want to chat with all of us, go to be.net slash live and you can be chatting, asking questions. <laughs> yeah, Val will be here later. Don't you worry, Jan Eric. What's up, Jan Eric? By the way, how you doing? Mm. I like him. <laughs> Little mitten. Aww. <laughs> the kitten. Mm. Maybe he could have. Maybe he can be holding something. Yeah. Like a a, a pie. <laughs> Space pie. <laughs> I think so, actually. There you go. I want to make a pie. It does look like an oven mitt, kind of. Exactly. Mm-hmm. What, is pies, what do pies look like? <laughs> round. Okay. You think it has, like, it's round. Okay. Maybe it's like a cheese or something. Ooh. Maybe it's a cheesy pie. Cheese pie, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Okay. Zalek says that you're a trackpad superstar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. I think you, you kind of do use shortcuts. Like, I do. Use the option. That's true. Are you watching my, my clicking? No, I'm just, just kidding. <laughs> I can just read it. Okay. <laughs> um, it speaks to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like going so slow. It's pretty funny. Yeah. It's I think like, you're doing great. Ooh. I just remember last year, I keep on thinking about last year, how I was just like, blah, <laughs> yeah. like going crazy on this thing. And now I'm just like, do, 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 life is good. Life is good, Newtopia. Calm down, life is great. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not perfect yet, but who cares? Ooh, Alpha, that's a great question. How do you keep your eyes comfortable and healthy when you're staring at screens Yo, so long? Tell that's us. That's a question I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, fish oil, maybe? <laughs> Ooh, in your eyes? Or like, in no, the form? you digest fish oil. <laughs> I mean, I have, I'm addicted to eye drops, so this oh. is a bad thing. Ooh. Everyone can now know my secret. I'm addicted to eye drops. Could be worse. It's pretty bad because <laughs> my vision, if that's what gets, you know, bad when I'm older, that would be the worst thing ever in my mm. life. I'll just, I don't know what I would do. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, anybody in chat, do you have any tips for? practicing safe eyesight tell us i know that uh taking breaks from taking focus breaks yes. yeah and not only just taking breaks from focusing on such a short distance but taking a break and then trying to like focus on something very far away like the horizon That's or great. trees or buildings it kind of yeah. strengthens your eye muscles i've heard <laughs> but um i've actually after working on a computer for years and years and years i found that my eyesight it's not worse but it's my eyes are blurrier. Like, I can still focus, but it's True. it's strange. True. Just feel like a a cave creature that stares at a screen all the time. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, I made two pies. <laughs> Yay. Um. You mean he's holding on to it? He's like, Yay! Let's eat this pie. Mm hmm. Um. Ooh, jasmine tea. Jasmine tea is good for your eyes? Apparently. Wow, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that. Using artificial tears instead of visine redness relief. Oh. Visine is really bad for you, though, guys. Okay, cool. Don't <laughs> use that. That's yeah. really terrible for you. Yeah. Oh, Martin, that's a great one. So he recommends using the Flex app, which makes your screen orange. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, Yeah, too. I use that all the time, and I change it to, like, the warmest setting. My screen is like literally red in really? my face. Yeah, but it feels so good. <laughs> my eyes feel so good. I do that on my phone too. Like I have a shortcut where it kind of changes it. Not just the night mode, but it's like even, it's even more intense. <laughs> Carrots, there you go, Ryan. Carrots are good for you for sure. Mm-hmm, cucumber, Anna says. Hello humans, what's up, Julia? How you doing? <laughs> Oh yeah, everybody say hello to Gus. He's the one behind Adobe Live team today. And most days. Ooh, you have blue blocking glasses. Oh, nice, Ayla. Very cool. I have those too, but I found that they hurt my eyes more. But maybe just looking through lenses hurts my eyes because I'm not used to wearing glasses. Mm -hmm. Everybody's saying hi to Gus. So popular. <laughs> so designer two, to toggle between the outline mode and normal mode is command Y. That's a shortcut or control Y. Okay, I really don't know what to draw next. Okay, so. That's pretty cool though. This is um, an, a pie. <laughs> 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 and I was thinking this could be stars, but it really looks like a bird. Oh, I see. Like that would be like a comet. You know what I mean? Channel, but yeah, it is very. What does that look like? like? Okay, it looks like this. Oh wow, there's like no color to it right now. That's the one bad thing about outline mode. Yeah, but it helps <laughs> you have really good composition. So. True. That's a tip. Yeah, that's the first step. Hey, space pie says Cat Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I feel like these colors are really limiting, guys. 
<laughs> That's the point. I'm like, I can't. I don't know how, guys. Uh, I don't know how to do this. Anna, we're in San Francisco today. Very cool. Um, Ooh, it's like frosted pie now. I don't know. Okay. It's not even edible. When <laughs> you're in space. space, you don't have an option. Yeah. You just I make a giant it. cherry. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Planet cherry? Giant cherry. Nice. Natasha tints, tones, and shades. There you go. Yeah, thank you, Adobe Live. We are running a competition. So I know this is like really, you're really enamored with Shauna's process, but don't forget that you should be working too. If you're interested, let me know in chat if you are joining the contest this stream. You've got about an hour and 20 minutes at most, uh, left to create an awesome design based on the theme of traveling to Utopia, uh, this kind of make-believe, potentially make-believe, who knows, planet, uh, traveling to Utopia. So how do you get there? What do you need? Those kind of things. And you need to use Illustrator CC. We should have some background music. Oh, I think they do. They do. Oh, we don't? We do not. Oh my God. I really want some. Yeah, that'd be nice if, like, in a radio station, how you have the headphones on. I'm to New York. <laughs> Love Bjork. Have you heard her new album? Yes. I have. I watched her new music video, The Gate, and I was just like, holy crap. Yeah. Who am I? Why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> but in a Why good way. Why is she so amazing in every aspect? Oh, I kind of forgot about her. I'm glad she made a She's amazing. comeback. <clears throat> Oh, so we don't have mar background music, Martin. But they have background music. Oh. Wait, last year when I came, we had background music. Really? Yeah. I remember dun, that. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> People just do that the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think it's because last time we had headphones. Ah. And so we're just like listening to like some crazy techno, which actually really helps when you design. So everyone should definitely do that specifically techno yeah oh all right yeah i think things specifically without lyrics helps me just like atmospheric noises yes exactly mm -hmm. okay what's next oh reflect the jaws stupid looking cherry huh whoa <laughs> <laughs> That's a really large chair. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay. Woo! <Fun>. Go wild. <laughs> Wait, I don't like this reflected. Hmm. You're making star. Okay. Nice. I love how you like laugh when you're making art. You're like, this is so silly. It's supposed to be fun. It is supposed to be fun. If you're not having fun, then you should quit illustration altogether. Oh, or like <laughs> change something. You don't That's have to just the truth. quit. <laughs> don't quit, but you know. Yeah. Maybe maybe think about life deeper. Yeah. Than you usually think about life. Totally. Okay. Um, I don't think this cherry looks good on this thing anymore. Oh. I'm gonna just add one cherry on it, and then maybe this cherry could just float in space. Yeah, why not? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> um, oh, I didn't even notice that you made like a planet up there. When did no. you when did you squirt that guy out? I'm just, just now? so fast. <laughs> just like literally am only watching this and I didn't see it happen. <laughs> You're busy conversing, it's fine. Oh true. I, I forgive you. Thank you. It's totally okay. <laughs> uh, you guys in chat, is this your first time here? If it is, please say hello. Even if you're lurking, just type a little hi. Let us know you're here. Don't have to say anything else. Cause we wanna say hey to you. Ooh, Daniel just got a big client. Great job, Daniel. Nice. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with them? Yeah, give us the deets. <laughs> Mitch says, hi. Kendra, hi. Oh, wow. Lots of people. <laughs> John, John Eric, it is not your first time. You have been around oh. for literal years. Literal years? <laughs> literal years. <laughs> Anna from Dubai. Ahmed, welcome. Carlotta, Ralph. Wow, thanks guys. Ooh, Natasha, you started watching three weeks ago and you haven't missed an episode? Wow. The true such, MVP. That's very sweet. Yes. 
I wonder, do you have this on while you're working? Kind of like background noise. I like to watch live streams while I'm working because it feels like I'm with friends. You can like chat with them, check in. <laughs> Daniel, the rules are at be.net slash live and click on the contest tab. And you can find about the rules for this contest, but I can just go over it quickly too if you'd like. So today's theme is traveling to Utopia and specifically during this stream with Shauna, you need to make an illustration using Illustrator. Um, there's a creative brief that you can download and click on and read all about, even drag it into your document like Shauna did, that has the color palette, the font that we're using, and kind of a little more copy about uh, the whole theme. So yeah, you have like an hour-ish. Cool, hour -ish that's to a lot of time, in. guys. Yeah, doesn't have to be crazy. Like use that short time period and be like, all right, what can I feasibly get done? Hello from Mexico City. What's up, Marion? Ooh. Ooh. There you go. Oh, goodness. This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> In a good way. Like, I don't know if, if I like he's him holding that pie. Mm. <sighs> what, what do you think he should be holding? Should I just get rid of him altogether? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's your choice. This is your perfect world. This is my perfect world. Oh my gosh. It's is a lot it? of pressure. <laughs> um, maybe I'll make him smaller because I don't like him that much. Bye. See ya. Beautiful. Someone says they've been a huge fan of yours since they saw your project you did at White Sands because Ooh, they used that was to live there. Great. Oh my gosh. I'm so jealous. Oh. I love New Mexico. It's like one of my favorite states. There you go. Actually, one of my favorite places in the world. Really? Yeah, you have like, you know, deserts and, you know, you know, forests and hot springs. Yeah, and skiing, all sorts surprisingly. Of crazy things. Yeah, it's really great. Mm -hmm. I love New Mexico so much. So can you tell Chad a little bit about that project? Yeah, um, that was in 2015, I think. It was, yeah. it was the Creative Cloud release for 2016. And they yeah. sent me to, Adobe sent me to New Mexico for a week. And then I created this like, Illustration based off of my inspiration of being on the on the white sands for a week, oh. and then they printed it out on this giant, like I think it was like nine feet by nine feet um, cloth, mm. and then they had it standing in the middle of white sands. Cool. It was so surreal. Yeah. It was very very. It was one of my favorite trips ever. Right. Did they make a video? Yeah, about they made that? a video about it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, is that where I remember your face yeah. from? <laughs> maybe. Maybe you've seen that Shana. was that was two years ago. Yeah. And I was a little baby. Oh, two and whole years ago. <laughs> now you're toddler. Now I'm not. Now I'm a toddler. Now I can walk and you know all that stuff. All that stuff. So, and like speak all the really taller well. things that toddlers do. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, Dana loves New Mexico too. So beautiful. Yeah, it's so. I want to go back there. I haven't been. I haven't been back for a couple years, mm. or since White Sands, actually. Oh, you should. No, I want to go camp. Yeah. When, do all the good stuff. When we were there, we stayed in like a airstream. Really? Where did yeah. you go? We were in Flagstaff. Where's that? Up north. It was. Ooh. It was cold. I've I never think been Flagstaff there. is New Mexico. <laughs> I think I'm from the Midwest. I don't know. <laughs> All of them are the same. It's so interesting. That area is so interesting. Mm -mm. Oh, Flagstaff is in Arizona. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Our resident okay. geographer just let me know. But we did stay in New Mexico. I just don't remember where it was. Hmm. Oh, well. Not important. <laughs> Very important. What are you talking about? Uh, everyone's correcting me. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> I feel like this should be a giant pie. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> then what, what is he even doing? He's like putting a pie inside a pie. Oh my. No, I don't know. Gosh. <laughs> I need to sit back about this. Think a little bit, too much pie. There's Going like the brain. so much happening. Maybe it should be like a stream of, um, what should this be? Maybe it has, mm. maybe it's like a stream of chocolate or something. Yeah. It's like, Pie lava. It's pie lava? Palava. What are what are some fruits out there? Give us some fruits. Apples, strawberries. What do strawberries look like? 
Okay, no, I don't. I remember. <laughs> Let's think about this. How many? How much can I not go? I'm going to try to test myself to see if I don't reference anything, Ooh. what I can make. I like that, though. It kind of like, if you do make a strawberry, it'll be your strawberry. Ooh, yeah, that's so true. I feel like strawberries are weird, right? They're like kind of heart-shaped. Yeah, heart without oh, a Oh, mango. Dip. Okay, tomato. That's oh, true. Technically. I love that tomato is a freaking fruit. Mm -hmm. I was actually talking about this. A strawberry like actually isn't technically Look at this. a strawberry. Ooh, it's a strawberry. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> 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 That's a cool looking strawberry and it's melting. Oh, I like him. He's cute. He's got okay. some attitude. Watermelon. Ooh. Okay. But you know what? I feel like this these fruits are too human looking. What? They're like too earthly. Oh, okay. It's like um <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Maybe they don't have to be the right color. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Green strawberry. Ooh, tooth Tooth fruit? What's a tooth fruit? Just make one up. It's on Utopia. Adobe berry? Adobe berry? Interesting. Ooh. I like it. It looks radioactive. The strawberry? Mm-hmm. Spiky. Yeah, this is... Maybe it's, um... Maybe it has like. Ooh. And little bumps. There you oh. go. Ooh. Strange. I don't know if I want to eat it anymore. You don't? I don't know. <laughs> it's not. It's okay. Looks like you don't a have potato. a choice when you're there. I don't there. have a choice. <laughs> it's the only thing. You can only eat this. Dang. <laughs> That's it. Joseph says an anime berry. What's what an that anime berry? <laughs> Rajiv, what's up? Welcome to the to the chat, to the stream. What's an anime berry? You tell us, Joseph. What do you think an anime berry is? It's very shiny. Oh, this is creepy looking. I know. I hate it and I Haunted. love it at the same time. Cursed <laughs> strawberry. <Just> <laughs> um, I hate that I can't use other colors. It's like freaking me out here. It's okay, whatever. Ooh. Julia says this is very Rick and Morty-ish. Ooh! Love <laughs> Rick and Morty. Aesthetics! Thank you. Yes. This is probably why I'm getting inspired is mm -hmm. my Rick and Morty subconscious, you know? Ah. Like, what is this? I don't know what this thing I made. It's a food Should we tube. throw it in here somewhere? No, I'm gonna do a star here. Okay, what are other, what are other um, fruits? Watermelon. Okay, I'm gonna make a watermelon. Yeah! Watermelon. Something from Futurama. I love that show. That's a good show, too. Miss it. I haven't watched it in a minute. Me neither. Misiksberry? Not sure what that is. Yeah, Misiksberry. <laughs> Do you know what that is? It's from Rick and Morty. Oh. Shows what I know. Do you watch it? I've been too out hyped. Because the fandom is so mm. like, you have to watch it. And I'm like, I don't know. I know, you're right. Too much it pressure. I it was totally like that it. for Steven Universe, too. I didn't watch it for like years because I was like, uh, people like it too much. I'm scared. <laughs> it's just a great show. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean, though. Yeah. <laughs> Morgan says, what am I doing here? I should be doing homework. Go do homework. Yeah, Morgan, come on. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't multitask, then I'm sorry. You need to focus on school. It's important. Or is it, though? <laughs> if that's what you're focusing on right now, then yes. Maybe. <laughs> or don't. We won't tell. Where are the strokes? Oh. Ooh, big seeds. Very cool. Wait, it's not working. Oh, no. Do you have more than one thing selected? I'll just make it bigger. Oh, I think it's because you're on the... Um, Direct selection tool. Oh. Da -da Get it now. <laughs> um, this is too flat looking. Hmm. Make it bigger. Make it not flat looking. All right, you guys, we got 10 minutes until the giveaway. So stick around for sure. And then about an hour until uh, we're going to be giving away a free year sub 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 <laughs> whoa <laughs> subscription of creative cloud i just had a glitch in the matrix so get your contest entries in 
uh, just be doing an illustration in Illustrator based on the theme of traveling to Utopia, this wonderful mystical planet that is yours to create. Nobody else knows what Utopia is except for you. So go check out the rules on the contest tab on be.net slash live and get those submissions in because we want to take a peek at them. We want to see what you guys are making. Carlotta, are you using just the trackpad? See, si. Yes, I she am. is. <laughs> Rob says the subscription. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Too much coffee. Not enough coffee. Not enough coffee, perchance. I didn't even finish my coffee. Crazy. I don't have breakfast. Oh, no. So, you know. That's why all these fruits That's are That's probably happening. why I can't, I, I can't think right yeah. now. Yeah. You're jet lagged. You're hungry. I'm like, oh my scared. gosh, <laughs> so much happening. Uh, um. Oh, Daniel's too busy. Dang it, working on your new big client, maybe. Daniel. <laughs> yeah, Eric, I missed your Matrix joke. Say it again, please. Maybe I can just look at it again. I'm an adult. I can do this. Yes, you can. I believe in you. Oh, how similar was it? Was it the same cat? I see. Matrix jokes. Coffee is a good idea. Also, Dana, are you the Dana that used to go by a different name on here? Let me know. Let me know if it's the same lady. <laughs> Four coffees is too much, Daniel. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, he wants to start after Christmas and you're planning for next month? Gotcha. Good luck with it. Wow. Oh my god. I like him. <laughs> so cute. Aww. Yeah. I think I spent way too much time on him though. Oh, red. Yes. That's kind of weird. Right. Oh, Dana, it is you. How you doing? I remember meeting you at Max, right? So cool. So cool when you meet people from the internet in real life. I know, right? How does that work? Yeah, especially when you're not <laughs> expecting it. It's like, <gasps> you're real. <laughs> it wasn't just a dream. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, this is, this is getting too fruit centric. <laughs> is it too fruit centric? A little bit. I feel like it needs to be chilled out for a sec. Ooh. I like that navy and bright red next to each other. It kind of vibrates your eyeballs. I know. Oh, wow, Madison, you just got an illustration gig for a Samsung event? Congrats. Ooh, I did that. I was going to say, you've worked with Samsung before, right? Yeah. It was pretty intense. Oh? Good luck. <laughs> Is it like a contest or something? No, it's just you're just live drawing people. Mm. And they're watching you on screen. Kind of like this, you know? <gasps> Good practice. Yeah. It's great. Like caricatures? Um, You have like a phone. They're, they're just drawing on. Oh, yeah. gotcha. You're using their new phone to draw. And mm -hmm. so... But yeah. it's also very intense. You're like, oh my gosh, I have to be on top of this yeah. at all times. Yeah, can't mess up. Okay, I feel like this watermelon should be flying in space. Oh my gosh, with like a little jet trail. He's like, yay, I love everything. <laughs> um, Life is good. I don't like that this one blends in. Using the Note 8? Oh, got it, Madison. Well, congratulations. Great job. When is it? Is it soon? <laughs> Rob's like, Madison, get me a Note 8. Because now that Madison's working with them, that means she can just hand them out. That's what that means, right? Huh. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> so cute. He's like, oh my god, I'm going to fly. It's um, kind of like pizza-ish, but fruit. It's not pizza. And no. I like that. I mean... Okay, it kind of looks like a pizza. I think pizza's pretty 2016 also. Yeah, that's lie. true. <laughs> okay, what is this fruit? This should be a cherry. Okay, that's Ooh. a cherry. Look at this. More fruits flying in air. <laughs> I love, like, how did this even happen? <laughs> it's great. This is how magic happens. Uh, Nancy, should we use the same colors of the brief? Yes, please. 
So you're looking at the brief, you're seeing kind of the copy that's describing it, there's the colors, and all you have to do is make an illustration based around the theme of traveling to Utopia using Illustrator CC, and you've got about an hour left. So just get something together, send it in, let's take a peek at it. Um, as soon as there are some entries, we'll start looking at them, start chatting about it. Then whoever wins will win a free subscription, this time I didn't say it a million times, of Creative Cloud for a year. Nice. So amazing. That's and amazing. Yeah, if you don't win this time, do not despair. We have three more streams today, and then we have tomorrow and the next day. And during every single stream, we'll be giving away a subscription. So crazy. And we'll also be giving away three posters. So we have about three minutes for the poster giveaway. Stick around. Um, you could win. Three amazing posters that were created here live on stream by three amazing artists. One of which is in chat. Rob, what's up? Robzilla. Hi, Rob. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I did a drawing with Rob last time I was here. It was did awesome. You? What did you make? What did we make? Oh, Jason. Was, oh, yeah, I was on Jason. It there was really go. cool. He drew Jason. I drew like weird stuff to go into his hair. It was Amazing. Great. Yeah, Jason will be here later. We got Paul in the studio. <laughs> whoop whoop. <laughs> Fruitopia. Hmm. Oh, what are these shapes? I'm trying to. Oh. going off the tents. Sorry, guys. <gasps> don't tell Adobe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you kind of already did that with the spaceship. Yeah, I don't really care. Spaceman's <laughs> leg. You're already here. We can't kick you out now. I already did it. So <laughs> <laughs> I just don't follow rules. You know what I mean? Just kidding. Such a rebel. I know. Um, I feel like there should be a little, like, Little river in here. Ooh. A river of fruit. It's nice. That. Very cool. I like that you. It seems like you're gonna get something done in the. I two know. Hours. I'm <laughs> trying not to. Yeah. I this mean, is terrible. Maybe I'll just add to it tomorrow. Yeah. Make it like incredibly. Or intense. I'll be really bored and then I won't do that. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right. What's up, Plus Designs? Welcome back. Yeah, so Paul and Jason are the other hosts for this week. Stick around. I'll be streaming with Christine. And then those two will be streaming with... Dun, 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 dun. Let me sh make sure I get the order correct. Matt D. Smith is next. And then Evan Abrams is, Abram is after that. And Christine will end the day. Ooh. He's like flying. What is this guy? This guy's weird. What are you gonna be when you grow up? Planet? <laughs> There's some funny people on. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm a fan. Yeah. What time is it there? Here it is 10 a.m. and you know what that means? Good job, Morgan. This is a perfect segue. Okay. It's on giveaway segue. time. Yes. We are segueing. We're writing our segues into the giveaway. Are you guys ready? So all you have to do <laughs> is be active in chat. BE.net slash live is the perfect place to be. We'll give you a little bit of time to get there if you're not already watching us there. And you have the opportunity to win these three posters. You don't pick one. You don't have to pick your favorite. You get all three. So the one on the left was made by Robzilla, who's in the chat right now. What's up, Rob? Again, Mr. T. Uh, in the middle, we have Jingwei's pool party, which was created here on stream also. And then all the way over on the right, we've got Christine Heron's travel tickets, stickers, uh, and she created those on stream. So it's just a live stream bonanza of posters. Yay, what's up, everybody? So get the hype going in chat. Get it going. We'll use our magical Adobe script to pick a winner, and we'll let you know when the winner has been chosen. <laughs> I pity the fool who does not win. <laughs> Come on guys, the middle one is so cute. I know personally. That's my favorite. I Love them all, but I just love that dog in the pool So hype look at that chat. It's going 
Wow, Dang. I can't even read. <laughs> it's a lot of people talking at yeah. once. <laughs> so don't worry, you do not have to pick one. You get all three. And it's almost kind of a holiday season where you're maybe giving gifts, receiving gifts. Keep this gift for yourself. Maybe give some away. Do whatever you please. I know the chat is nuts. So many people. How do you guys pick? It's a magical script. Ooh, okay. Mm. So the more they type, the more the chance they'll get. I don't know if it's the it more. They just have to be active. Okay, that makes yes. sense. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate you guys chatting uh, during all of these streams. This is kind of a little thank you for being here. Really appreciate you guys. Without you, what would this be? It would be us just sitting here. Yeah. Talking about fruit, which wouldn't be terrible. <laughs> Yay! All right, we have a winner. Dun, da, da, da. It's spitting out a name, slowly but surely. My crystal ball, I see. Do you want to read the winner's name? Where's that? I didn't... Oh, oh did Vicky you... Champaneri. Champaneri! <laughs> Vicky Champaneri! I'm really bad at names. <laughs> I always do that with the host. I make like, them read the um, names. <laughs> Temper. Welcome and congratulations, Vicky. I'm pretty sure you've been around quite often, if I'm not mistaken. So congrats. Thank you for being a faithful viewer and chatter. Good job. Yes. Be you sure did to it. Yeah, be sure to check your Behance messages. We'll be getting in touch with you and your posters will be on their way soon. Congrats. And please, if you are sad that you didn't win, do not despair. We have three more streams today, and then we have all day Wednesday and all day Thursday for you to win again. So make sure you're just here, sorry, and being active in chat. Yay, congrats. And you can win. I really hate that um, strawberry head, it's terrible. Oh, don't say Maybe it too I loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's sensitive. That's so true, because I talk to my plants. Oh yeah? Yeah, mm. and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I, we have a tree named Henry, it's a fiddle leaf tree. Oh. He's the best. <laughs> Cute. So it actually makes a difference? It does. Wow. They're my babies. Aww. Are you a plant lady? Yes. Nice. I love plants. I love them too, but oh, I'm... That's, that's weird too. He's oh, fun. Um, Looks like a cool dude. I'm just too scared to commit to plants because they usually die. But I just need to educate myself, I think. Yeah. Plants <laughs> are the best. Especially because if you live in a city. Mm-hmm. I mean, do you have, I guess in San Francisco you have a lot of nature around yeah. here, so it's not as bad as New York where it's, it's just basically concrete everything. Mm -hmm. But you do live in a small space, so it's yeah. like the more green life in there, the better. Very true. <laughs> I hate this strawberry. It's so weird looking. Aww. He kind of looks like a... He looks know. really weird. Yeah. Why do you look so weird? He's an alien. Of course he looks weird. <laughs> what should I do with this? Um, hmm. It's like a strawberry. Maybe he can float. Maybe he can be like right. Maybe he can be coming out of, coming out of this thing. Being like, oh. he looks like the villain of this composition. He's definitely <laughs> villain-like. Yeah, spiky red hair. It's probably because he has. Oh, he's scary. I don't mm -hmm. like him. Creeping him out. <laughs> Creeping out there. He's looking at us. <laughs> Don't look him in the eye. <laughs> um, uh, I'm trying to think. Well, should I, maybe I should draw some plants. Yeah, why not? What are some plants I should draw? Oh, I know. Space plants. What are some space plants? I mean, obviously cacti. Heck yeah. But that's a given. True. This looks so fun. I agree, Athena. It's very fun. I don't Thank know you. if you want to join us, but we do have a contest running. So you have about an hour left to also make an illustration based around the theme of traveling to Utopia. Um, you just have to use Illustrator CC and the rest is up to you. What does traveling to Utopia mean to you? So you got an hour left, you'll submit that via the uh, contest tab on be.net slash live and we'll take a peek at it live and pick a winner in about an hour. Oh, Mitch, you've been here every day for a month and you still haven't won. Darn Aww, it. I think you guys should give him something. Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're sorry, Mitch. It's not your lucky day. Not your lucky month. I 
Okay, there we go. <laughs> hey, that does um, look very space-like. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. What are some space-looking things? Um, some flowers? Ooh. Or some like, wiggly looking thing. I just some wiggly know. things. I mean, the cactus looks pretty wiggly. I'm it just, almost looks I'm like I'm literally just drawing on top of stuff. That's how it goes. That's how it goes sometimes. Oh, wow, Charles, you won one of the years of Creative Cloud. Great job. So you, yeah, you're one of the lucky ones. Give Mitch a little bit of your luck, all right? Oh, wow, Derek, you just spent 20 minutes on your lunch break working on a quick submission. The color palette was pretty challenging. Right? Yeah, I think Sean would I agree. I you. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you, Derek. Thanks so much for working on that. We really appreciate you spending your precious lunch with us. What's up, Terry White? How you doing? Terry in the house. Oh, plus you've been here since Adobe Max. Amazing. Were you at Adobe Max? Oh, nice. Okay, Charles is sharing all of his positive vibes and luck with you guys. Aww. So he won Creative Cloud, and now he's sharing what all of nice his luck. What a nice man. Yes, thank you, Charles. He's like Bjork. Yes, you are <laughs> Bjork in Charles' form. <laughs> looks weird. Ooh. Creepy. <laughs> yeah, a little star in here. It's fine. Oh. Oh, your name is Chuck. All right. Not Charles. Chuck. His friends call him Chuck. <laughs> oh, okay. Plus designs. You weren't at Max. You're just following online and attending every live stream. Thank you so much for being here. And I asked earlier if anybody is new to the chat who has been here since the beginning. The beginning is technically like 2015, but what about just the beginning of Adobe Live? Who's been here for a while? Shauna's been here for a while. Yeah, I've been here for a long time, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you streamed last year? Yeah. Very cool, and worked with Adobe in 2015. Mm-hmm. Nice. I'm just a fan, guys. Fangirl. <laughs> fan. Um, okay. Oh, I like those little red like berry bobbles. Berry bobbles? Yeah. On the on the wiggle. On the wiggle man. You know. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> true. I don't know where to put him yet. He's kinda cute though. Yeah. He cute though. Joseph's been here. Other Joseph's been here. Both Joseph's have been here. <laughs> Wendy has popped in whenever you're able to. Thank you, Wendy. Cordell's been here Oops. for a while. Um, Laura's been here after Adobe Live this year. Awesome. Morgan, you just discovered this today? Welcome. How did you uh, stumble upon this miraculous live stream? Hector's been here since July. Very cool. So has Dez. Been here for a while. Fan ever since. That's amazing. Um... Um, um, um. I don't know what to do. <laughs> no pressure. I feel like I'm just gonna, I don't know, chill out. Yeah, this is a very relaxing space scene. <laughs> it's almost like underwater, kind of floaty. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I like this. Oh, William, you've been here for a few years. Glad it's kept going. I'm so glad. Thank you, William. And if you guys don't know, this is a weekly event. So every Tuesday through Thursday, most weeks, there is some sort of creative event. This week it's kind of designers, either UX or graphic or motion or just illustration. Um, sometimes it's all illustration, sometimes it's all UX, sometimes it's photography. So you just need to kind of stick around, check out the um, schedule tab. If you're on be.net slash live, it should be at the top next to now playing. Nice little schedule. You can check it out. Come back when you want to learn something specific or just hang out all the time. You can always learn something. Oh, I see. Your teacher suggested to search inspiration on Behance and the link just popped up from the home screen. Thanks for being here. Oh, 
Oh, so say has been here since Twitch. I remember you actually on Twitch. I remember your name. Mihai, we love it. Thanks so much for being here. Ooh. She's getting dangerous with her shades. Sorry, guys. Her shades and her tits. I can't help it. <laughs> That's part of being a designer. It's like having the rules and then kind of... <laughs> being like, bye. Pushing the boundaries, maybe just getting rid of them. Saying bye. Oh, him, t <laughs> him Tim. Hey, Tim. <laughs> How you doing? Thanks for being here. This is looking too human, though. True. I just can't think outside of my objective self, guys. It's terrible. Hmm. <laughs> this is your experience. So true. You've seen the cacti in the wild. Oh, I cannot unsee. I know. <laughs> but what would a cacti look like when it's from a different planet? Ooh, like lower gravity, maybe higher gravity. What maybe this do? entire thing needs to be upside down. <laughs> I was actually thinking that. I didn't want to say, I didn't want to influence, <laughs> but it could be cool. <clears throat> hey, Laura, you're wondering when do we have these live events this year? Uh, they're mostly every week, but let me know if that's not answering your question. Do you ever do anything that like really helps you get inspired? Like eating a music, thing? music. Um, music, movies, like old movies. Oh. I like Suspiria a lot, from, mm. like um, Argentino. I'm not even saying his name right, <laughs> but Argento. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, a lot of like horror movies I watch because I love. I think horror movies are the best, and also <laughs> it inspires me a lot yeah. for a lot of work I make. But if I'm not inspired, sometimes I just don't do anything creative. Me too. Because I think it's important to just take a break. That's your livelihood, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. Like, illustration. I love manga. Like, there's this really awesome manga called Uzumaki, which is, like, this horror manga. Oh. That's amazing. Ooh. Horror manga is, like, so terrifying. Awesome. <laughs> Actually scary. Yeah. Comic book artists. Um, any of that is so awesome to just, like, mm -hmm. look at. I think it's, it's oh, like, easy to find that. inspiration in this day and age. True. You know? So... Yeah, kind of inundated with yeah. like creative imagery. Exactly. Do you like any other manga? Um, I used to watch Sailor or read Sailor Moon. A Heck lot. yeah. <laughs> but Sailor Moon, I was actually having a conversation with a friend about it back in the day. Um, they would have these like beautifully drawn illustrations of all the Sailor Moon characters in one beautifully composed, like painted mm -hmm. painting esque. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I'm like, holy crap. How do they make yeah. this? It looks so different from, like, the anime. Yeah. I so love beautiful. that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, also, like, well, there's so many. I've been watching so many music videos these oh. days. Um, Bjork. I've been yeah. say, talking about her a lot. But if you guys <laughs> ever look at Bjork music videos, you're just like, holy shit. Mm -hmm. How does she think about this? Like, she has a great team of people working with her. Yeah. Doing, like, these insane things. Yeah. And yeah, music videos are awesome. I love watching them. Um, Man, I feel like I haven't watched a music video at, like since TRL. No, you have to. <laughs> uh, I that's all I've been doing. I haven't even I haven't even been watching TV shows or movies. Mm, I've been just really? watching music videos oh in the gosh. last week. What a life! <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun. Like if you look at '90s music videos yeah. or like. You know, you, you know, you see how how much things have changed. It's very sweet. true. Yeah. <laughs> Joseph says you've retouched Bjork a number of times over the years. What? Are you a photo retoucher? Really? Jealous. No way. So That's jealous. amazing. <laughs> I wish I could retouch her. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that makes no sense. <laughs> uh, what do you guys use in chat to get inspired? Music videos from the 90s. Bjork, only Bjork. <laughs> only inspiration. Oh, whoa, he's bleeding. I love it. <laughs> Too human. I used to like making a lot of clean lines, and now I just don't care anymore. Mm. I, think it's, I think it's fun to just be like organic about shapes. Because yeah. I notice a lot of illustrations now are just perfect. 
And I'm like, come on. Totally. It's not perfect. Yeah. It's okay to draw weird shapes and lines and it doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. And I think that's totally fine. Right. Like you made this. Yeah. It's okay to look like it's made. Like it's so easy to draw this perfect circle right now. Mm -hmm. But like how do we make it where it's kind of awkward? Mm -hmm. Like that. There you go. You know, I think it just makes it more interesting. But I really know, like that. Tidbit. <laughs> yeah, that's encouraging to me because I always feel a lot of pressure to make like the perfect curve and make sure it's in perfect no. perspective. And that's like not how my hand makes stuff. So. Exactly. I think that's why like physical painting projects or just drawing, um, it teaches you to realize like it's okay not to be perfect mm -hmm. because I mean, I'm trained digitally like illustrators. So going back to, well, when I was younger, I was trained traditionally, but went back to digital and like going back to digital or sorry, traditional has been really challenging because I want to make sure all my vectors or all my lines are perfect and mm -hmm. all that good stuff. So yeah. Looks like we have some contest entries. I'm just opening Ooh. them up and we can take a peek at them in a second. Woohoo. And one thing I do want to point out, guys, is you do have to upload, um, if you want to win, at least, you got to upload an image that you made during the stream um, using Illustrator. What'd you guys make? Let's see. All right, want to take a peek at a couple? Yeah. Here's Ooh, one. Oh, that's it's amazing. Like a lollipop. I want to eat it. That's awesome. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Dang, guys, some yeah, perspectives. Definitely. <laughs> they sound like a valley. <laughs> some perspectives. <laughs> <laughs> Some perspectives. Wow. It's, you're allowed to because you're not actually Because I'm in San Francisco. I can talk whatever way I want. <laughs> uh, Ooh. Yeah. So these two were posted a while ago, but they are really cool to look at. Oh, okay. Nice. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, It looks beautiful. like a travel poster. I really like that. Mm -hmm. I like how simple it is. Yeah, this is cool too. Utopia in the distance is what it That's is really titled. Cool. I like that um, outline situation. Mm -hmm. And I one definitely more. work with that. Ooh. Gradients. I know, look at those. I like this guy. Damn, this is trippy. <laughs> yeah, right. These colors make me feel weird together. I kind of <laughs> like it. Makes me feel some, some, Feels some like kind of Feels like pie way. charts. Oh. Are you guys inspired by pie? <laughs> you did draw a lot I of pie. I did draw pie. Yeah. So, very cool. Awesome, guys. Keep them coming. You have about 45-ish minutes yeah, until we'll be picking. So we'll pick, well, Shauna will pick um, oh a couple minutes before the stream actually ends. This is a lot of pressure. It I don't want to pick pressure. the wrong person. <laughs> There's no <laughs> wrong person. There's only the right person. That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much. Keep them coming. Oh, wow, this is like the terrible flower, but you know what? I'm okay with it. <laughs> He's organic. <laughs> yeah, right? So cool. Thank you guys for submitting. <clears throat> no socks, no play. You're not going to enter if you're not getting socks. Sorry no about socks. that. <laughs> no socks this time, but we what? hear you loud and clear. Where are the socks? Oh, the ex They want to win socks, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Good socks. Ooh, Larissa has a question for you. Can you give some tips about using gradients and mixing colors? Do you do oh much of God. that? Oh my God, I used to, that's all I used to do mm -hmm. is gradients. I think I like oversaturated my work with gradients and now seeing it everywhere, I am not using it anymore. Mm. <laughs> do people, they're like, do the thing with the gradients. Yeah. And like, no. I mean, like, it's fine. I think that's totally okay. I love gradients. I'm not saying I don't want to do it anymore, but I mm -hmm. also think it's important to challenge yourself to do things that's... I don't like boxing my work. Mm -hmm. And I think once I started to create on, with only gradients, it was hard for me to um, identify my style outside of that color choice and that's such a specific style and, and aesthetic mm -hmm. and when I started seeing it on billboards and like other companies have been using it I'm just kind of like okay how do I differentiate 
my work from just gradient work.、Mm. And so, I don't know, color wise, it's, it's a feeling thing. I think it's something that you just have to keep on.、Um, Working with until you find something that makes sense to you. I think it took me like four years, five years of just consistently drawing over and over again and seeing what's out there and seeing what kind of work I enjoyed to really find a place. And I first found myself with gradients, I guess.、Mm-hmm. And it took just a lot of playing. It's just、yeah. playing. Right. It's like most I can say about it. It's crazy. Like there's so much of. Finding your own style that is、mm-hmm. just time consuming. Yeah. But, but that's important. Yeah. Because you know? I think a lot of times now, now a lot of people are so, there's so much like inspiration online and there's so many people just copying inspiration, which、yeah. is fine. But then find your own voice within that inspiration.、Mm-hmm. Don't just, you know, take something and then take it for your own and then run with it. Yeah. You like know? act like you. Make your own stuff.、Mm-hmm. You know, you're creative. You're, you have a voice. So, Talk about it.、Mm-hmm. Right. And I think that's where like, not worrying about being so perfect comes in. Because、mm-hmm. that's where I get tripped up. It's like I either feel like I need to copy someone to make work that matters. Yeah. Or just not make work at all. It's like,、yeah. no, just make what comes out. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Dana, sorry about that.、Um, you could make a design that doesn't use the typeface if you'd like. <clears throat> But if you do keep having trouble with logging into Adobe Creative Cloud, feel free to tweet at、um, Adobe Care and they'll help you out.、Mm, Sisse says type and color are the hardest things for them to design, but it seems so simple. Yeah, but it's definitely not. No, so many decisions <laughs> go into it. <laughs> yeah, that's okay though. Just takes time. And I think that's why it's so important to have, find that patience. You、mm-hmm. know, like last year, I was like, oh my God, I need to make something perfect. And now this year, I'm like, I'm just going to see what's going to happen. Yeah. Do you feel like that confidence came from like knowing that you could get work? Yeah, actually, that's <laughs> probably true. It's like a catch 22. That's very true. <laughs> yeah.、Um, yeah, it takes, I mean, it, it took some time for me to get there for sure. Mm hmm. But oftentimes, people who have very distinct styles that don't look like anyone else's, like that can really attract people to give you work. Like, wow, that's really creative. <clears throat> oh, Dana, you're out in the boonies, so you're using all of your data for the live stream. Oh, sacrifices. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have to write something in the illustration? No, you do not, Anna. You just have to make an illustration using Illustrator、uh, that's based around the theme of traveling to Utopia. Whatever that means to you, use the color palette that's given in the creative brief.、Uh, you can find all that information at be.net slash live and then go over to the contest tab. And like we chatted about a little bit earlier, every stream will have a different、um, contest, kind of. So, like this one is specifically make an illustration in Illustrator, the next one will be more of a prototyping contest. Um, so, it is important that you get the contest entries done during the stream because they change every two hours. Yeah, you have about 15 minutes to get it done. Thank you, Adobe Live Team. <clears throat> yeah, submit early so we don't miss it. That's actually a really good point. Since the contest will be changing for the next stream, make sure you get your submission in so we can look at it for this stream and you can be in the running. I think we have some pretty strong submissions. I'm excited to see what else comes through.、I don't know.、Mm. <laughs> I like this. It's like getting darker and darker. Oh my gosh, I haven't drawn an illustrator in a long time. Because you've been doing so much hands on stuff? Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's kind of crazy to come back to it. 
but it's great. It feels good. Does it feel alien? Yeah. <laughs> it feels like, oh my gosh, I'm redoing this. Ooh. It seriously does feel so like underwater. Like maybe that's even a pocket of water floating through the space. Yeah. Man. Yeah, man. Crazy. <laughs> Awesome, Sarah, thank you for submitting. So the way that you can get this submission to us is if you go to be.net slash live, click on the contest tab, and there's actually a Google form that you can use to submit it. Um, yeah, thanks, Tim, for that. What's up, Nastia? So the theme is travel to utopia. Um, make an illustration based around the idea of getting to utopia specifically. Like, how do you get there? What do you need? Um, what kind of vehicle do you use? and send it over to us and we'll have Shauna pick a destined oh winner. Oh my gosh. I know, and that winner will win a free year of Creative Cloud and that's amazing. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing about that is if you already have a subscription, it'll just stack on top of that. So add another year, which is very helpful. That is really helpful. I'm jealous. Mm -hmm. I wish I could have that. <laughs> years and years and years. This is getting too crazy, guys. Too crazy? I'm not a fan of it. No? <laughs> I like it. I really like way it. way <laughs> too intense. Woof. Are you a fan of more, like, cleaner, more simpler designs? It seems like your designs usually have quite a few like, Yeah, assets. I like both. Yeah. But sometimes I'm like, am I adding details just for the sake of adding detail? Yeah, and right. that's when I don't like my design, you know? Mm, I see. Yeah, I find I do that a lot. Like, I'll decorate to take the place of, like, thinking through my composition. Yeah. What do you us usually use? What's your like tool? Oh, um, I usually use Photoshop. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. To draw with on a, a Wacom mm -hmm. or something? Yeah, I use the Intuos Pro. Mm. Um, but like I said, I'll usually like actually draw on paper first and usually just take a picture. Like, I don't nice. know if I really need to use a scanner. <clears throat> yeah. Not for what I need to do. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. But I find that when I jump into the digital, realm I feel yeah. a lot of pressure like all right this has to be perfect now oh wow it's so opposite yeah my work. <laughs> yeah so when I stay on paper I'm like I can just scribble and it's fine and whatever and if, if I send it or like put it on Instagram or something people will see that it's on paper and they're like oh cool this is just a sketch but if it's like a digital sketch I feel like people judge it a little harder oh, that's so opposite that's so interesting <laughs> yeah I just need to see what I'm doing oh nice it's like a weird thing I have to do. Okay. So did you just like... I just make a box around mm -hmm. it just to look at what I'm making because yeah. sometimes it gets distracting. Um, More entries coming in. Awesome. I'm getting cool, them open. Cool, cool, cool. Love it, love it. <laughs> it's so cool seeing you guys, your names in chat on these entries. It's like I kind of, I don't know what your faces look like, but I know what your art looks like. Very cool. Wow. Hmm. Martin, do you have to use all the colors? You can use whichever of the colors that you want. It could all be just one color on white or on black. You could use two of them. You could use all of them. Yeah, the fake clipping mask is super clever. Definitely going to try that. I'm actually curious about how you did that when you added the uh, boxes around the canvas to kind of make like a frame. Oh, I just pulled around like this. These are just boxes. There you go. There you go. And then yeah. you made a some sort of mask. Yeah, I mean it's just it's just color. And I oh, you just off. yeah. I didn't do anything. I don't. Oh I don't like clipping masks. God. I thought you like did something really no, complex. That's absolutely cool. not. I hate clipping masks. Absolutely it's so not. annoying. <laughs> I agree. Duh. No, I'm, just I'm in my Valley Girl phase right now. I like it. I like how you're like very comfortable in how you use this tool. A lot of people feel I like they it. have to use Illustrator a certain way. No, just use it however the hell you want. Yeah. 
there just you go. whatever makes sense, right? It's a tool for you to use. There's no like yeah. test. Yeah, exactly. Like you don't need to learn how to use shortcuts if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. You know, there's like no, no right way to do anything. Right. It's like the good and the bad thing about a lot of actually yeah. Adobe products. Like there's so True. many different ways to to skin a cat, as they say. To skin a cat. Yeah. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> it is. I thought you liked creepy things. <laughs> uh, that's true, I do. <laughs> Joshua loves clipping masks. That's cool. Yeah, respect. I'm like seriously not a fan of these colors though. They're I tough. Mean, I like them, they're just like kind of intense. I know. You know? It's a lot for the eyeballs. Maybe I should just, hmm. I think I'm gonna tone this back. Hmm. You guys, you have about 15 minutes-ish, 10-ish minutes, between 20, 10 and 15 minutes. Probably start looking at these at about 10.45. Um, so we can take a peek through, take our time, make Shauna pick, make her make a really hard decision. Yeah. Yeah, and then we'll kind of chat about how we've gotten to this point and what you might work on tomorrow. Oh yeah, no <laughs> idea. <laughs> Not yet, no idea yet. I feel like I would do some, I think I would do something way more minimal tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not, depends on how I feel. Yeah, depends if you've had your espresso or not. Exactly. Or breakfast. <laughs> okay. I feel like this guy is weird. Should we make him big? Oh, giant? Why is he holding a block of cheese? <laughs> Seriously, why? Why is any of this happening? <laughs> like <laughs> everything else makes sense, but why? Why does he have a block of cheese? Is he holding a block of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Ash says it's only a matter of time before Shauna puts butts in there somewhere. I knew people were gonna request that. I think the cherries are like metaphorical butts. I mean, should I just delete everything and just draw a giant butt? <laughs> Space that's butt. honestly what people want. A butt with like a you ring know. around it, like a planet. planet yeah. But that's yeah. your utopia. That is my utopia. <laughs> um, oh, this is like seriously crazy to me because this color palette is blowing my mind. Crazy. <laughs> So how long have you been using Illustrator? Since 2007? Wow, because someone nine? just said the way that you're using Illustrator shows that you've been using it for a long time. Oh yeah, I know, it's been <laughs> forever. <laughs> That's so funny. I wonder how you knew that plus, tell us more. Yeah, how do you guys know that? <laughs> <laughs> how do you know this? I wanna know. Oh man. What's up Mark, welcome. What? Oh, so John Eric thinks that that's not cheese, but that's a camera that he's looking through. Oh my gosh, he's so creative. So creative, yeah. <laughs> Caesar says it looks psychedelic. I mean, thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. <laughs> Morgan, this is so awesome. I went away to eat and came back to something crazy. It's because I'm crazy. You're showing it. <laughs> showing you're crazy. True colors. <laughs> <laughs> My true colors are a weird color palette. Yeah. Awesome, you guys. Got lots of submissions coming in here right at the end. I'm so proud of you. I was scared. We were a little dry there for a while, but you guys had to get started, you know? Get your creative juices flowing. And now we've got more than enough to choose from, but keep them coming. Got about 10 minutes. Let's make this a hard decision. Make it as hard for Shauna as you can. <sighs> I hate choosing things. <laughs> really bad deciding these days. Uh, it's a good practice, but it's, it's, true. it's hard to do. Very true. Larissa says this is so Rick and Morty right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. kind of cool. I think I need to watch Thank it. Maybe you. I'll watch it between I now appreciate and that. the next stream. <laughs> is it because the drips that make it Rick and Morty or what? Oh, is it a drippy show? <laughs> yeah. That's probably true. <laughs> I still want to put this pie in here. Somewhere. <laughs> Where should it go? Pie in the sky. Maybe this pie can... Maybe I shouldn't put this pie in there. 
Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of my mask and just look at this. Your super high-tech mask. <laughs> uh, awesome, Helen. Thank you for submitting. Okay, going back with mask. Sometimes it's so, it's so nice to just like have a space you can look at what you're doing. Mm -hmm. This could almost be like a repeating pattern. It could be. That'd be crazy. Whoa. Whoa. Alien. Maybe that could be, maybe this could be clouds or something. Yeah. Ooh, I hear my stomach. <laughs> Time for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a few minutes to get your artwork in. Keep them coming, guys. They're flooding in. Oh, okay, so Plus Designs, you use Illustrator the same way they do and they've been using it for a long time. How do I use the same way they do? How do people use it now? <laughs> I think it's... Like, how do anyone use Illustrator anymore? Maybe people use more of like the new, newfangled features. What are some features that um, people like to use? Because mm. I should probably just learn <laughs> new features as well. Potentially. Uh, Morgan, I can tell she's been using Illustrator for a long time because I just learned last year how to use it. And I know the commands, but I'm also not fast at using them. God, just because she doesn't use commands, that's how she's been, that's how you know she's not been using it. I feel like it could go either way. I don't like that thing. <laughs> oh, Catherine, that's awesome. You're doing a style that you don't usually do. That's good. It's fun to play. Mm -hmm. Oh, Puppet Warp is a newer one, says Jan Eric. I like the that? Shape Maker. What's a shape maker? How do you do the shape maker? It's like... Um, Does it make things perfect? No, it's like the Pathfinder. So mm. like having two shapes and putting them together, but it's more like you're... More like you draw. It's more organic. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, so it's like you have a square and a triangle and you like draw a line between them and it makes it one shape. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Shape builder, there you go. <clears throat> and Joseph says, he knows you've been using it for a while because you know the rules and you break them all. <laughs> <laughs> what are the rules though? What are these rules that you keep talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the blob brush tool. Yeah, that's an OG. What's that? It's like, um. I don't know a lot of these <laughs> things. Isn't that kind of funny? It's fine. You don't need to use it. Oh, using Illustrator is very calming for Helen. It is very calming for yeah. me too. That's why I'm going so slow. Just very zen right now. <clears throat> Ooh, Carlotta says they've, she's kindly, kind of started liking the colors. This tough color palette. Wow, that's so weird why I just made. I like this. It's getting crazy here at the end. I know, I'm just crazier. <laughs> I just get crazier, you know? Is Shauna's last name X because that's awesome. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. <sighs> oh, Athena, awesome. You came pretty late, but you still have enough time to make an artwork. You're going to try to be on time. Please do. Yeah, unfortunately, the next contest, the next stream is going to be totally different. So you have about five minutes to get these contest entries in, and then we'll start looking at them. How can you submit your poster, um, your design? You go to be.net slash live. Go over to the contest tab and there should be a link to a document that you can use to submit so the contest is traveling to utopia and that's what we're going to be looking at here in about five minutes um, you have to make an illustration in illustrator just all about the idea of traveling to utopia what does that mean to you um, and we'll look at it tomorrow will be a totally different theme and the day after that it'll be different too very cool This is getting weird. Ooh, I like how you made it much bigger. It's a cloud, I think. Yeah. Tendrils. Ooh. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like it yet, but whatever, I'll keep it for now. Yeah. 
It's cute. Yeah. Is there? It's just a lighter color. It's not. There's no gradient on that, right? No. I'm not using gradients today. Sorry, no, guys. No <laughs> you came here for gradients. You came to the wrong Try place. Try to steal my secret. No <laughs> thanks. Just kidding. I'm not showing you my secret recipe. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. Illustrator One came with a demo VHS. What? Yeah, Eric. How do you know this? Did you experience that? Tell us. Tell us more. <laughs> All right, three minutes, guys. About three minutes left. Oh, they have three minutes to do this. Get them submitted. Might not be the best time to start a design. I mean, you could real really challenge yourself. But just uh, go to be.net slash live, click on the contest tab, click that link to the submission, and get them sent over. Probably got about 15 or 20 submissions. Ooh, nice. Mm -hmm. I am already highly impressed. I'm excited for you to see all these. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> I just did something crazy. Whoa. It's fine. Whoa. We just got very quiet in here. I feel like tomorrow <laughs> you guys should have music. It'd be amazing. <laughs> Wowza. Oh, you discovered the pencil tool and the speed of workflow. It speed it sped up the workflow so much. That's awesome, Helen. What's the pencil tool? Yeah, See, I don't even use that. <laughs> how do you use that pencil tool? <gasps> Tell us, Helen. <laughs> I'm gonna make these a lot skinnier. Back. Ooh. There we go. Wow, there's so much happening in this drawing that my mind's gonna explode. It's so cool. I, I feel like it came together so much right at the end. I think I'm gonna get, these guys are distracting. Oh. <laughs> this is how old, how the old AI users feel. They don't know what the shape builder or pencil tool is. I need to try it out. Okay, <laughs> let me try it. Is it right here? So no, the way that brush. I think it's, um, I don't know what little menu it's hidden in. Where is it? But let's see what Helen uses it for. Da, 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 da. She typed it, but I missed it. Let's go back up. All right, so you pick the pencil tool and draw those wave thingies you're doing right now, and you'll see. So it's kind of like a way to draw a shape, and it'll just fill in. Where is it? I don't know. Oh. I don't know which little menu it's under. Shortcut key is Shift M for the pencil tool. Shift M? Mm -hmm. I personally don't really Holy use it. Holy crap. <laughs> what do you do? Oh. Instructions. Right Hello. Wait, but where's the pencil tool? This is a shape builder. How do you even do this? <laughs> <laughs> maybe now's not the best time to learn. Yeah, maybe it's not, but at the same time, uh, like, pencil tool is not the paintbrush tool, right? Like I can't, right? No, it's more of like a, just a drawing tool. Mm, let's see. All right, you guys, we're gonna be picking, looking through and picking a winner here soon. I feel like this, this watermelon thing is throwing me off. Maybe it should come from below. No. Great job, you guys. Oh my gosh. They're coming in hot here at the end. Mm -mm. All right, that's the deadline, folks. Dang. That's it. Wowza. Oh, got one more. Got a straggler. All right, guess when they're all in, you give me a, a visual th thumbs up. Okay, they're all in. Make sure, do you wanna take a peek? Yeah, let's do it. All right, I've got them all open. Here's one, ooh. ooh. That's so sweet. Very cool. Nice. 
So we'll look through all of them, nice. and then while you're picking, we'll kind of go quickly through, and you can pick again. This is very cool. I like you kind of made your own little brand. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is by Dana. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Dang, that's crazy. Yeah. It's awesome. By Julie. Great job. <laughs> that's really cute. Yeah. So bubbly. Dang. Whoa. It's nuts. It's really cool. Yeah, I love the reflection in the glasses. Aw. <laughs> Aw, it's a monkey. So cute. Ooh. Nice. Got those gradients, stealing your secrets. Oh, nice. Cute. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. Great job, you guys. This is really hard. I don't know what to do. I know. <laughs> Can't think too hard about it. Oh, like this. is this like Little Prince or something? Mm -hmm. That's really sweet. Full screen, it's pretty little. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, those That's two beautiful. are kind of similar. <laughs> Hear my stomach again. <laughs> nice. Gateway to the universe, Utopia. What's that symbol? The creative cloud symbol. Oh my gosh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> oh, that's funny. oh, that's cool. I love that. Cool. That's cute. Mm -hmm. I love it's that. A creature planet. Nice. So super galactic. Mm-hmm. Planetary. Yeah, these are all awesome. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. That's sick. That's pretty who what? That's <laughs> crazy. What's even going on? I wish my eyes looked like that. Mine too. <laughs> but this one's cool. Oh, so interesting. Wow. That's interesting. She lovely. Alright, and then these are the ones that we already looked at, so we'll go through pretty quick. Wow. All right. I have no idea. This is so hard. So we'll take a How peek you through and let me know which ones really stand uh, out to you. Okay, you have to do it like three times because right. I can't tell. If you let me know which ones stand out to you, we can drag them all to the top. Okay, and then just that one stands to me. All right, dragging her to the top. Maybe you should drag into a new window. Oh, that's an even better idea. Yeah, there you go. Boom. But then maybe you should make that window small so you can drag it to the other window. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Tech, 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 tech. All right, here's one. Let's start over. Okay. Then we have three more submissions that I'll pull up in one second. Okay, cool. You want to just pull those up now? Yeah, I will pull okay. those up now. I'm gonna go back to the submission page. Awesome. Do 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 do. Oh, maybe four. Do people want feedback? <laughs> maybe. I don't know <laughs> if we have time. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, that one didn't go anywhere. All right, here's one. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> huh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, can you make that smaller? This one? Or which one? That's, or is that the full size? No. I so. Okay. I like that one. Mm, ready? I mean, that's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. You can drag that one in. Cool. All right, so so far we have these three top contenders. That one. Very anime. Huh. Interesting, okay. That one. What is that shape, though? <laughs> Who made this? <laughs> Who okay, did we, this? this just dragon lost something. <laughs> <laughs> it is very cool, very strange. Mm -hmm. That one's interesting. Drag mm -hmm. that one. Okay. All right, we've got about four minutes left. Okay. That one's interesting. Drag that one. Mm -hmm. That one. Jeez, guys, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I think those are good. Okay, cool. Okay. Take a little peek. Wow. See. Okay. 
These are really great. Mm -hmm. I can't decide. It's between this one and the last one for me right now. This one and the last one. And then one. the one that's um, the crazy, that one. So these two? Yeah, because those are very interesting use of shape and mane. Mm -hmm. It's like really just playful and I like that a lot. Um, can you make those smaller? This one's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are all beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> it's great really job, hot. you guys. Um, what is that? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, go to the second one. Wow. I like this one. This All one right. wins. <laughs> Congratulations! You have won! This one's on my vibe, you know? Yes, totally. The three high ones was beautiful, too. Yeah. I just, it was so hard. This one is very your vibe, like very mural. Yeah. Psychedelic. What's going on? Yay, congratulations! Congrats, who did this mm -hmm. one? Yeah, let us know in chat if this one is yours. Please do. See if I can find out who did it. Do, do, do. It's hard because there's so many submissions. I don't know which one it was. Let us know in chat. Let us know in chat. <laughs> Very cool. A... So congratulations. We will be in touch with you. And if you didn't win this time, please do not despair. We have three more streams today, although the contests are slightly different. Um, they kind of cater to different skill sets. So the next one will be prototyping. Um, yeah. Also, Nancy, we, yeah, right, Adobe Live, you've already won, but we will figure out an alternative prize. So thank you for being so awesome. Um, next one will be prototyping. We've got motion design and graphic design to finish up. So stick around. You can win more Creative Cloud subscriptions and more posters. And Shauna, what do you think you're going to do tomorrow? I think I want to work on this landscape a little more. Ooh, so this one. Yeah, because it's like kind of confusing right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not in love with it, so. I think maybe I'll add on to it. Mm, cool. And make it have more of a story. I like that. You know? So if you guys want to know the story, come back tomorrow, 9 a.m. Um, but also just stick around because we have three other amazing streamers coming up next. Stick around for some UX design. And we'll be back shortly. Bye. So stick around. Thank you, Shauna. Thank you. Yay. Thanks, everyone.